The United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees, also known as the UNRWA, recently released Palestine's annual health report for 2023. The report has been monitoring 14 diseases with the potential of becoming an epidemic in Gaza since the very beginning of Israel's bombings. It states that the trends are extremely worrying, with cases of acute respiratory infections hitting a record high of 1,36,162 cases. Other infectious diseases also increased at an alarming rate during this time. Compared to 2022, cases of diarrhea have multiplied at 98 times for people over the age of 5 and at 33 times for children below the age of 5. Numbers for blood diarrhea have also increased by 22 times this year. Cases of lice infestation have increased at 8 times, while a contagious skin infection called impetigo increased at a rate of 4 times. The report says that the spike in numbers was caused due to limited access to clean water, poor hygiene, and overcrowded shelters. To quantify the hygiene aspect, UNRWA started monitoring the living conditions of the displaced people from 23rd October last year. A huge drop in all forms of living conditions were observed, including basic physical hygiene and sanitary needs. Sphere Standards, which is a handbook for minimum humanitarian standards, says that a person needs 15 liters of water every day. This includes both daily drinking water and the water for various domestic uses. The report says that a single displaced Palestinian receives only 8.8 .8 liters of water every day. Out of this, only 1.6 liters of water is drinkable water. Sphere Standard also states that the minimum standard of hygiene for sharing a single toilet and shower are 20 people per day. Instead, Every day in Gaza, a single toilet is shared by 656 people, while a single shower is shared by 3,310 people. Amidst such dire state of health and hygiene, one of the two remaining hospitals in Rafah were shut down. This happened after Israeli attacks killed two medical staff from the Kuwaiti hospital. This hospital was treating the injured from Rafah camps who were bombed by Israelis on May 26. Reportedly, 45 people, mostly women and children, were burned alive in the bombings. Israel still continues its military actions in Gaza even after the massacre. This was Orchun Kundu from the New Indian Express. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on the links in the description below for the latest news updates.